one of the great families in harness racing was the Harriman family. Delvin, uh, you knew the Harriman family and Mrs. E. Roland Harriman. That's right. They, uh, their stable's name was the Arden Homestead Stable, and they'd won the Hamlet Tony. They had great pace in the mare once called Tassel Hanover. And now the Gary Brothers, which uh, one of their ancestors was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, are still carrying on the Arden Homestead Stables. Mrs. Harriman was quite a horsewoman. Wonderful. She could drive a horse. She drove a horse, the first uh, woman to drive a horse better than two minutes. She won many amateur events. She hunted, shot off of horses. Mm -hmm. and she and her husband were just a grand horse-loving couple and grand, very wealthy. Grand families involved in harness racing. Let's take a close-up look from 1938 at Mrs. E. Roland Harriman. In the 30s, the drivers wore big numbers on their arms. Delvin, you know a story about that one time, don't you? That's right, right Roger. I wore numbers like that when I started driving. Benny Sturgeon, a great horseman, a great driver, always told a story about the first race he ever drove. He said he was all nervous that day and went to take his coat off that evening, and they'd pinned his numbers right through his skin. He didn't even know it. <laughs> but you know, afterwards, then they'd put the numbers on top of the horse's head when they had the photo finish to see exactly who won the race. This is Mrs. E. Roland Harriman winning a race at historic track, coming home a winner. The first woman ever to drive a two-minute mile with Anna Bradford's gal.